I'm Madan Tangavelu. I'm a DNA biologist. The last uh, 35 years I've been working with DNA, DNA from plants, from animals, from bacteria, from viruses, and trying to understand what is the connection between DNA and other aspects of an organism's behavior and uh, how organisms interact with each other. Since 1999, I've been working to improve the sensitivity of DNA studies. DNA is a very special molecule. Of course, it is the molecule that holds uh, all of the secrets of life and how DNA is transmitted from generation to generation gives you the strength of this molecule as to why it's so important. Now, this molecule also permits you to do very high resolution analysis. So you can analyze DNA at the level of single molecules. You can take single molecules of DNA and you can look at the DNA structure and the sequence of bases and you can understand many things about where DNA goes wrong even within an individual at any one time. And you can understand aspects of DNA, changes with aging or changes with disease like cancer. You know, cancer, for instance, is a disease where DNA must change. Without DNA change, you will never get a full-blown disease. So DNA is a particularly attractive molecule to understand these fine aspects to changes in the human cells and the human body in terms of both health and wellness and in disease. And there are many studies going on now on how DNA and aspects of DNA and gene activity changes with even previously difficult to understand things like thought. If you think, you spend time being calm, you can see changes in your DNA. If you don't sleep well, your sleep is disturbed for a few days, you can see the changes in your DNA. So these are all the powers of DNA and how DNA can be used as a test molecule to see the wellness and the health of the body. So that is what I do. My background, how did I come into studying DNA? Uh, in 1975, which is when I started my undergraduate studies, I studied agriculture. I worked with plants. I trained as a plant breeder, breeding new plants. And breeding new plants touches the aspects of heredity, how gene controls characters in plants and how they are transmitted from generation to generation, and how you can select plants and improve plant types. So that was my uh, background. And in 1982, I got an opportunity to come to Cambridge to do my PhD in a lab called, which is no more, it's called the Plant Breeding Institute. Um, it was one of the leading labs in the world for breeding new plants. And so I came to do my PhD there and slowly I started specializing in some aspects of DNA and went on to work in the world of DNA. And now, today I find myself here at this Congress looking at aspects of DNA and vegetarian food. Now, what is the connection? My presentation will be to do with this. My presentation will show how our understanding of DNA in human beings and human-associated microbes, bacteria, viruses, that are found in different parts of the human body can be better understood by looking at the DNA and DNA as a marker to see changes and how we might have to rethink some aspects of even a simple so-called harmless aspect of vegetarianism. Through the eyes of DNA, we might have to rethink many things.